Good afternoon. I'm Marcus Roberts, and I'm sitting on the back porch, and I'm thinking about retirement, but I'm enjoying one more time around. Now, I have nine school days left for students, one work day, and graduation, and then I'm going to be retired. Today's Mother's Day. I'm sitting on the back porch. It's raining like crazy out here. Uh, the Navasota River and the Brazos River are trying to turn into one big lake right now. So it's a little crazy over here in uh, Brazos County. Lots of stuff going on the past few weeks. Had the last uh, concert for the high school band. Had a great time. Got the chance to play my baritone with them. Had a really, oh, it was so beautiful. Had such a great time. Band banquet was a very touching night. I think it was the best banquet that we've ever had. Um, it's some really nice times. My last concert is Tuesday. That's my last big func function. After that, I've only got a field trip on the Monday of the last week of school, and then it's all just packing crap, putting away crap, checking off crap. That's pretty much where we're at. So, how am I feeling? Because that's really what I'm thinking about right now. I will say, uh, just as an update, I called uh, Teacher Retirement because I was, had questions about health insurance. In okay, case so you're going to be retiring soon. Uh, their health, health insurance is very similar to having uh, sort of a, uh, a, like a calamity policy. I, I forget the word for it. Having a policy where it really only kicks in when something major happens. So, now, the insurance costs $200 a month. But you don't, they don't pay you anything until you hit the deductible. Which, you know, beginning of the year, you're going to have $1,600 out before they pay for anything. Now, I see enough doctors that they'll be paying something by about March or April. Um, and if you have a major medical issue, that'll kick in just right away. You'll end up with coverage, 80-20. Um, but it's not, the, it's not your standard kind of copay. Um, I'm sure I'll think of the word here in a little bit. But I had took, uh, you know, when I had a day off, I called in and did that. Um, I'm in the middle of uh, finishing my project where I'm putting uh, googly eyes on everybody's classrooms. Uh, pretty much I own, the only places I have left to do are Miss Guerrero's office and I think maybe one other room or something, I, you know. But I've started making the video for that because I've got my reception on Thursday, my retirement reception for the campus. And that'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, a lot of people I don't know very well that haven't really made... I don't feel like I've made a lot of great connections, but I feel like that I have a good relationship with these people. Uh, they're all just so young. They're all just so young. It's hard, to, it's hard for somebody who's 50 to be friends with a bunch of young people. It's tough. I mean, again, I, it's not that I don't want to. It's that... What do we have in common? I've got, you know, my son is maybe four years younger than a lot of them. Maybe three. So anyway, I'll tell you right now, I had a, yesterday I was, made some great dinner. I made some filet mignon. Ooh, ooh. We had the filets and I wrapped them in, in bacon and then I smoked them. I smoked them in the smoker for about 30, 45 minutes, and then I braised them to get all the nice grill marks, and just kind of just braised the outside. Oh, amazing! Turned out great. In that process, I realized that smoking those steaks was one of the most fun things that I have done in a long time. I was enjoying making dinner for my family more than I've enjoyed doing anything with my job in a long time. And it's not that I don't like my job. It's just that this was better. It felt better. And at the same time, I had this feeling like, you know, I got this big concert on Tuesday, and right now, as of right now, I just want it to be over. I am looking forward to it like crazy, don't get me wrong. But I'm ready for it to be done. I'm ready for all of this to be done. And so that I can be on to the next thing. Now again, if you follow through all my videos, 
I've been teaching 29 years. I love teaching. So don't take any of this the wrong way. I'm not even burned out. But it's just time. It's time to do something else. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. It's really nice. Uh, this past week, both of the new directors that are coming in to take my place uh, came in and spent a day with the kids. It was amazing. Great. Love these people. They're fantastic. I'm going to try to have them over, cook, smoke them to meet this summer sometime. Um, they're just great kids, and they're going to fit perfectly. Got my numbers in for next year. I have doubled, more than doubled, the size of the program since I got here. Three years, we went from 100 kids to 200 and some odd kids, 200 plus. Probably be close to 215. We're about two years ahead on our numbers projection. And the young lady that's going to be taking over for me has a history of being a great recruiter. There you have it. Navasota on the way. I'm proud of those. I'm really proud to be a part of this. And I'm going to stick around. I'm going to teach some lessons. I'll take care of some other business that they need. I'll fill in gaps that they need because they don't have a brass specialist on staff. But I'm happy to be the retired dude that swoops in, has some fun making music, and then swoops right back out again. It's going to be nice. Tuesday night at the concert, I look forward to seeing my friend Ray, my friend Alex, some other people that I'm not expecting but may show up. Um... Oh, I expect a good turnout of people. It's going to be a big night. And I've arranged it so that Jennifer, the young lady that's taking over for me, is going to uh, conduct the last song of the concert, the school song. I'm going to hand, her, hand off the baton. I'm going to step off the stage. I'm going to introduce her and let her say a few words, and then she gets to close out the concert. It's exactly the transition that I want. And I'm doing it my way. I'm doing the things I want to do. And for the first time in my whole frigging career, I get to leave on my terms, at my time, my way. And I'm ready to be done. So, with all that... I just want to tell you, Marcus, it was all worth it. All the work you did. Navasota, moving to Navasota, man, that was a pile of crap when you got here. But it was worth it. Because just watch. The stuff you built in the next few years is going to take off. The seeds that you planted are going to grow like crazy. And you're going to get to watch it while you're being healthy and taking care of yourself and doing things that you enjoy doing. Well, that's all I've got today. I'm out here on the back porch enjoying the rain, thinking about retirement, but I'm enjoying one more time around, at least for about another nine days. Have a great one.